now let's uh, move to our uh, powerpoint presentation and let's see how to use the various options available in the model uh, section of the analytics tab so in the uh, analytics tab of tableau i get a few of these models uh, and the most used ones among them are trend, line, trend lines forecast and clusters if i talk about uh, forecasting this is basically uh, predicting of the future value of a major and there are many statistical models for forecasting uh, but in tableau we use uh, a method of exponential smoothing so exponential smoothing is the method we use for forecasting uh, the uh, values of continuous variable or the major variables in case of tableau so in tableau when we perform forecasting first of all this is applied on the uh, parameters which are uh, in major category means which are continuous in nature and secondly the method used for forecasting is exponential smoothing so without much ado let's move to our tableau workbook to see forecasting in action over here in my tableau workbook if you see uh, you will see that i have forecasted the uh, sales of furniture office supplies and technology uh, for the uh, next uh, two years that is 2020 and 2021 using the data available to me so i have the data available for the sales uh, from year 2016 to 19 uh, and i have predicted for 2020 and 2021 so basically uh, what i did over here is uh, we used the data available for these four years and built up a forecasting model on it and based on that we predicted the sales for year 2020 and 2021 so uh, these are my forecasted value if uh, if i have to see uh, what's the numerical value i can go over here and convert into table so i can get the values corresponding to each of these uh, with respect to year so these were the realistic values till here after that these are the forecasted values which i have if i would like to see uh, that uh, uh, what is the stats of this i would right click on the value and i would go to the forecast part over here and i could see the described forecast so over here i get the stats of the forecast that the model used for forecasting is exponential smoothing and these are the basic uh, stats like these are the uh, accuracy of uh, each of the prediction means the prediction corresponding to each category i can see the accuracy looking at the rmsc values over here or maybe the map values and these are the smoothing coefficients if you are unable to understand these matrices it's fine uh, these matrices will be understood some uh, by someone who knows data mining or who knows uh, supervised machine learning but for you to understand it's like it's uh, just using this function you can forecast the values and these are the basic stats related to forecast it is telling me whether there is some seasonality or trend in the forecast or not and uh, the forecasting uh, for the forecasting uh, the major taken was sales and the forecasting has been done for the next eight uh, we uh, for forecasting we have used uh, data from 2016 to 2019 quarter 1 uh, to quarter 3 and uh, we have ignored the uh, last quarter which is the quarter 4th of 19 and we have predicted uh, the sales for the uh, next eight quarters that is 2019 uh, quarter 4 to 2021 quarter 3 so uh, i think this is quite clear to you that uh, this is uh, a forecasting and the stats of the forecasting but now let's see that how to perform this sort of forecasting So for that, let me remove everything and let me perform forecasting for you people from scratch. So let me remove everything. Okay. Now, first of all, uh, let's take order date over here. And corresponding to order date, if I would like to see the profits this time instead of sales, if I would like to see the profits, I see this is the profit. Now, uh, if I would like to uh, see these profits corresponding to each category, I'll place the category over here. So these are the profits corresponding to each category. So from here, I can easily make out that furniture. has not yielded much profit to me but others of a supply the technology are the profit yielding categories for me now if i would like to uh, forecast the values i'll go to the analytics tab from here i have got forecast so i can either select forecast from here forecasting will be done or i can go to analysis tab and from here also i can perform forecasting so you can use the way you want so i would just double click on the forecast over here so you will see that some forecasting has been have been done for me now if i would like to drill down from year to say uh, quarters i can see the forecastings now since uh, the year field over here is discrete so i see these forecasting in pieces uh, for each year but if i would like to uh, 
see it in a continuous manner i can do that i'll go to uh, this field and if you guys remember we had discussed in previous videos that in a table field can be uh, both discrete and continuous so when you select any of these five options in the above uh, segment this one then it acts as a discrete and if you select any value from here the date field becomes continuous so let me select year from here to make this field continuous so now the date field has become continuous and i now we can uh, see the predictions in a much better way you must be uh, willing you must be uh, worried that why am i getting this gap over here so i'll fill up this gap as well but before that but before that let's see that uh, what are the forecasting is done and can we change the forecasting so by default over here forecasting has been done uh, for the next uh, i think by default for uh, next one year only that is till 2020 only and if i would like to see the forecasting values i can uh, either hover over here so for 19 i am getting this this forecast for 20 i am getting this forecast for each of the category if i would like to see the value i can uh, over here i can convert into text table so i can get the values corresponding to each so these are the actual section shows me the actual value and this section shows me the uh, forecasted uh, values uh, now let me convert it back to the graph form now uh, if i would like to check the forecasting details corresponding to each i can uh, go over here in the drop down uh, so i not over here uh, i can i'll go over here on the uh, forecast i'll right click on this forecast i'll go to the forecast option and i would like to uh, from the forecast i would like to go to the forecast option so when i go to the forecast option over here i get an option to uh, decide the forecasting level so by default automatically it has forecasted uh, the profit of each category for me for the next uh, five quarters means it has data till the fourth quarter of 2019 and from that onwards it has, from there onwards it has forecasted the sales for me uh, for 2020 till quarter 4 now if i would like to uh, say that no instead of uh, for forecasting it for the next five uh, five quarters please forecast it uh, for me for the next two years so for that what i'll do i'll say exactly forecast it for the next two years so when i do that you can see that the moment i change this correspondingly the values over here are changing so next i would like to uh, say that uh, ignore the last one quarter for me i would like it to ignore uh, the uh, quarter 4 of 2019 for me and uh, this is the uh, p value uh, if you guys are not aware of p value it's fine uh, basically in statistics if you want uh, a prediction to be significant uh, you should uh, have the p uh, p value or if you should have the uh, significant prediction intervals to be 95% which means that the p value should be less than equal to 0.05 so this is correct uh, value over here now this data is telling me that uh, currently they are using uh, the data uh, from 2016 from the year 2016 quarter 1 to year 2019 quarter 3 they are using this data set as the source data set and using this data set they are predicting or forecasting the value for uh, the uh, next uh, two years that is 2020 and 2021 and uh, they are also looking for uh, seasonal patterns in every four quarters so uh, at the source we were aggregating it by quarters if i would like to aggregate the data by some other uh means by years or quarters i can do that so i would like uh, to be quarters only now let me press okay so you will see that now the uh, predictions which uh, were made now they have been extended a bit now i can see the predictions for 2020 and 21 both now if i instead of years i would like to see it by quarters i'll click over here now i can see the predictions corresponding to quarters you can see this arrow over here this arrow sign indicates that this pill uh is being used for forecasting so the forecasting i am uh, applying this is being applied on this pill this is what it is telling now when i delete it down further from quarter to say monthly level the predictions uh, will also be uh, converted uh, up to the monthly levels so in this way you can perform uh, predictions but now if i would like to see stats corresponding to a prediction i'll right click on a particular uh, stat over here and i'll go to the forecast and i'll see the described forecast so this described forecast basically tells you the stats of the forecast that uh, whether uh, like what is the model you have used for forecasting which is telling that the uh, tableau has used exponential smoothing method for forecasting and for corresponding to each category uh, has there been any seasonality so it's saying that the seasonality uh, is not there in the forecasting uh, for Uh, technology office supplies and the furniture these three categories the forecast didn't had any seasonality 
but in terms of trend they had this additive trend and in terms of level they were all additive and in terms of accuracy if i see uh, the map value is 105 so the predictions for technology can be considered to be high, highly accurate whereas in terms of office supplies the forecast uh, seems to be less accurate that is around 60% in case of furniture the forecasting is quite accurate that is uh, around 119% So over here, if the map gives you any value uh, more than eighty percent or seventy percent, it's considered to be a good model. So over here, I can observe that the forecasting for technology and furniture categories uh, is quite good using my exponential smoothing method over here. And in terms of summary of forecasting, if I see the uh, the time series data I have used is the uh, month order. Like uh, over here, the uh, date field I am using is of the month uh, field, and the measure I have used is the uh, profit one. And the forecast forward, if you see, uh, I have uh, forecasted the data uh, for the twenty-four uh, months since I had forecasted it for two years, and I had bifurcated the data up to monthly levels. So it is saying me that it has forecasted the uh, profit of all the categories for me. For the next two years, that is 24 months, and the data it had taken up as an input to build up the model of forecast was the data ranging from January 16 to November 19, and it has ignored the last one month data for me. If I want the uh, see by default uh, the last one month data at the source. Is ignored in forecasting, but if you want, you can include that data as well. And is there any seasonality in the forecasting? So it is saying that there is no seasonality being identified. Uh, now these are the stats corresponding to uh, each prediction done. That was pretty much about the stats of forecast. This is how the forecasting looks. Now, if we want to remove this difference, what we can do is, uh, first of all, let me convert it back to the year level. Okay. It is year level. Now I would right click on any of the forecast. I'll go to the forecast forecast options. Now, if you remember in the when we were uh, setting the options for forecasting, we had told that it can uh, ignore the last one month at the source data. That is the data uh, of profit which we have of the last four years. That is 2016 January to 2019 uh, December. It has by default used only the data till 2019 November. So I'm saying it. Don't ignore the last one month. So I am giving it a zero value. So you will see the moment I will do this and I will do OK, you will see the difference between the two has got reduced. Now when I do OK and I uh, go forward and uh, uh, drill down the data till monthly level, you will see that the values are quite near from December to uh, December 19 to uh, January 20. Since there is a change in the year. That's why this gap is coming. Rest uh, we have almost forecasted the. Uh, we have shown this data in a very continuous way and we have done the exact forecasting continuous forecasting for the next two years so i hope forecasting is clear to you now let's next uh, go to the next option available to us in the models of analytics tab